Hey man, what's up? It's the Ignorant Entrepreneur, and we got billionaires that are reportedly invested in a biotech company aiming to reverse aging. Now, you guys know that this is a personal science topic that I love, something I'm interested in, so I just wanted to share it, put it out there. So let's jump into it. So think about it. The next big thing that comes out of Silicon Valley could be a way for people to stay younger longer. In fact, the MIT Technology Review reports that Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Russian-Israeli billionaire Yuri Milner have invested in Altos Lab, a biotech company that is investigating rejuvenation techniques at a cellular level. The company hasn't made any announcements yet, but it has raised $270 million and attracted a pool of talent from across the globe thanks to an extremely generous salary offering. The scientific goal is to master the ability to perform cellular reprogramming. Specifically, it's about understanding how cells age and actually turn the clock back on that process. Now, cell programming is an exciting new avenue for investigation for a wide array of therapies. The control of cellular processes could make many diseases a thing of the past. Examples often put forward are Parkinson's disease and a few others I'm not too familiar with and they have extremely complex names. But humanity is nowhere near being able to do any of that. When it comes to aging, some exciting discoveries have been already happening and cellular programming is one of the wildest, most exciting ideas in aging biology right now. So there's this scientist, Andrew Steele. He's also an author of Ageless, a book about science and aging. And he actually goes on to say that his main note of caution is that the aging process is highly multifaceted. In his book, he talks about 10 hallmarks of the aging process process, though some scientists have slightly different lists. It's not necessarily obvious that rejuvenating cells will be enough to tackle all the biological changes we see with age. He's quoted as saying, if reprogramming works, it might be that other treatments are needed in combination with it to realize its true potential. And it would be a great shame if we failed to develop them in the meantime. So here on the screen, you can actually see some tweets Andrew Steele has put out. And this is just one of those fun things to think about if what if we could slow down aging, halt it, or maybe even reverse it? What would be the effects on society, not just morally, but economically? But then again, if such rejuvenation treatments actually work, there's no reason to believe that they would actually be available. You don't expect something that could extend the common man's life to be available in a little tablet or pill that somebody can just take along prescribed by a doctor. It would be tested in large clinical trials. Now, you know, whether they be affordable or subject to social inequalities, all that is left for speculation. But again, it's something I'm personally interested in and I I just want to let you guys know Altos Lab. That's something that likes of Jeff Bezos and other billionaires are getting involved in because they want to be rich for life and then longer than everybody else, I guess. So there you have it. This has been the Ignorant Entrepreneur. Let me know if you like this video as well. Comment and subscribe. I'm out.